Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from a movie called Airplane. Airplane came out in 1980 and is an American satirical disaster comedy film. It's a very funny movie and I recommend watching it if you haven't already. A lot of the humour is from playing with words, such as when words have double meanings. For example, when a flight attendant says to a passenger, Excuse me, sir, there's been a little problem in the cockpit. And the passenger says, The cockpit? What is it? When he says, What is it? The it he's referring to is obviously the problem. He means, What is the problem in the cockpit? However, the sentence, The cockpit? What is it? could also mean, What is the cockpit? A sentence you might ask if you don't know what a cockpit is. But in this context, there's no way anyone would think that's what he meant. But the flight attendant does take it that way, and that's where the humour is. After he says, the cockpit, what is it? She says, it's the little room in front of the plane where the pilots sit, but that's not important right now. This is called syntactic ambiguity, by the way. That means that a sentence can be interpreted more than one way because the structure is ambiguous. The scene right after this one has one of the most famous lines in this movie. A man called Dr. Rumax says to a man called Stryker, Can you fly this plane and land it? And Stryker replies, Surely you can't be serious. And Dr. Rumax says, I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Of course, Stryker wasn't calling him Shirley, but surely sounds a bit like Shirley. It's funny because there's no way anyone would make that kind of misunderstanding, so it's a ridiculous thing to say. But the way the actor delivers the line is completely serious. This kind of delivery is called deadpan. This is a great line to remember, so you can throw it into conversation sometime when someone uses the word surely. For example, you're in the kitchen with your flatmate and they're looking at an empty jar of coffee beans. And they say, surely we can't be out of coffee already. You can say, we are out of coffee and don't call me Shirley. Kia ora. in stick news today, Barack Obama shook hands with Raul Castro. Barack Obama is the President of the United States of America. Raul Castro is the President of Cuba. The US and Cuba haven't been friends for more than 50 years. In December, Obama and Castro announced the beginning of a process normalizing relations between Cuba and the United States. Media sources have named this process the Cuban Thaw. Last week, Obama and Castro met at a summit in Panama and shook hands. Obama is now considering removing Cuba from the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 14th of April. Kia ora. Today's word is altogether. Do you know the difference between altogether and all together? Altogether is an adverb which means completely. In the movie Airplane, Dr. Romack asks Stryker, What flying experience have you had? And Stryker says, I flew single engine fighters in the Air Force, but this plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. By altogether, he means completely. So the kind of flying, single engine versus four engines is completely different. All together is a phrase which means in a group. For example, the Beatles song, All Together Now, they mean let's all sing together as a group. Or your teacher might say, read this sentence out loud, all together. So in the movie when Stryker says it's an entirely different kind of flying altogether, Dr. Romack and Randy think that he's saying all together and they think he's commanding them to say that sentence as a group. So they say together, 
it's an entirely different kind of flying. Excuse me, sir, there's been a little problem in the cockpit. It's the little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit, but that's not important right now. You see, the first officer is ill and the captain needs someone to help him with the radio. Do you know anything about planes? Would you go up, please? The cockpit? What is it? Well, I flew in the war, but that was years ago. I wouldn't know anything about it. The little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit is called A. A cockpit B. Shirley A cockpit when you deliver a joke while pretending to be serious, this is called A. Deadpan B. Syntactic ambiguity Deadpan Altogether means A. Completely B. In a group Completely Where did Obama and Castro shake hands? A. Cuba B. Panama Panama Which list is Obama considering removing Cuba from? A. The Christmas card list B. The US list of state sponsors of terrorism The US list of state sponsors of terrorism And that was The Daily English Show Please go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1408 to check the script and links for today's show. And while you're there, if you'd like to support the show, please consider disabling Adblock for our site. If you're using Adblock, you can click on the red hand and then don't run on pages on this domain. And on YouTube, you can click on Adblock and then this whitelist the daily english show channel that would be awesome thank you very much see you tomorrow bye